What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. It's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another All the Queen's Men video. Now, this is going to be the review for All the Queen's Men Season 2, Episode 1, titled Amplified. If you're a fan of All the Queen's Men, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on All the Queen's Men, you get them. Now the description for episode one reads, Madam learns she's been double crossed and searches for the culprit. She is determined to get the club back on track while El Fuego gets an unexpected visit and is forced to face his past. Now season two started off crazy, man. I watched season one, but I never did any reviews on season one, but I'm gonna do them for season two each episode. I guess they're gonna be releasing two episodes every week. Now, last time they released episodes for season one, they released the entire season on BET Plus. Now it's going to be two every week for five weeks. So we got five weeks of All the Queen's Men, two episodes each week. That's going to be pretty cool. You know, at least we don't get to just watch one. We get to watch two. So I'm pretty excited about that. But this episode was crazy, man. Season two started off crazy as hell. Started off with a bang. You know, Madam is crazy. That girl... Marilyn Madam DeVille, she is crazy for real. I'm a huge fan of Power, but you know, Ghost and Tommy don't even be doing stuff on Power that Madam did in this episode. She is absolutely crazy, man. She is not to be messed with. You know, Red stole her money at the end of season one, and she wasn't playing in this episode. She wanted to get that money back by any means necessary. She was doing whatever she had to do to get it, man. It was $2 million, so I don't even blame her, but I don't agree with what she did, but like I said, she's crazy. This episode picks up, you know, exactly where season one left off. Amp was shot because Cap came to threaten Madam, and Madam shot through the door to scare Cat, and Amp got shot. So they're trying to get the bullet out and stuff, and Tommy takes Amp to the hospital. He's okay, man. He's not going to die or anything, so I'm happy about that. We've seen some stuff in the club. We've seen the boys dancing and stuff. Um, Dime was knocked out in the office. Um, Madam comes in there and finds Dime. You know, Dime tells her that Red is the one that knocked her out and stole the money. So while Tommy's taking Amp to the hospital, you know, she calls Tommy to ask Amp to send her the address to the halfway house. She's not playing, man. She's going to pick Blue up from jail. Remember, Blue was in jail for handling something for Madam. She got caught. And Madam went to the judge's house and threatened the judge. She really pulled out a chain, man, put it on the front of her car, connected it to the front door of the house, and pulled the front door off. Madam is crazy. She threatened the judge and her husband. You know, she grabbed up the judge's daughter and said, look, if you don't get Blue out of jail, I'm killing your daughter. Like I said, Madam is crazy. She's not to be messed with. She was really ready to pull that trigger on the judge. She was gonna kill the judge without any hesitation. Now, Madam goes to pick Blue up. You know, Blue is ready. She's out of jail, so the judge did what she wanted. And her and Blue go make a visit to this halfway house. You know, she wants her money back. You know, she shoots this dude outside of the halfway house just because he doesn't know where Red is. Then she goes in the house and she's asking questions, you know, to all the people that live there. And they're all deaf, so they can't hear her. But she doesn't know that and she just shoots all of them and kills them. I'm like, damn, man, madam, she ain't playing. But why'd she have to do that to all the deaf people, though, man? She's crazy. And she goes upstairs with Blue. You know, Red starts shooting at her and stuff. They have a shootout. Madam has a machine gun. And then she ends up tying Red up, trying to question him. He said, look, I don't know where the money's at because Bill, you know, the leader of the halfway house, he stole the money. He knocked Red out and he dipped off with the cash. Now, Madam's not playing around, man. She blew Red up. She put a bomb, you know, in between his legs, shot his kneecaps off and stuff. She blew his ass up. But that's everything, man, that went down in this episode. It was a crazy ass episode. I couldn't believe Madam went in there and just killed like eight people like that. Like it was nothing, man. She just pulled that trigger. She's not playing about her cash. We see Dime is terrified, man. She wants Midnight to walk her out to her car. 
we see Doc, he gets confronted by Teresa's husband. You know, he had no idea that Teresa, the girl that he was messing with, was married. This dude is looking at this car outside and Doc is like, why are you looking at my car? And he's like, I'm actually looking at my car. So this girl that Doc is messing with, Teresa, you know, she's sneaky. She's not to be trusted. And Amp, they didn't show too much of him in this episode. He just got rushed to the hospital. You know, we see Face being Face. Um, but overall, it was a good episode, man. I think it was a great season premiere. Crazy ass start to what I know is going to be a crazy ass season, man. This season is already starting off crazier than season one was the entire season. So I know it's going to be a good season, man. It's going to be action packed. It's going to be hella drama. It's going to be a lot of people getting hurt. It's just going to be a good time watching this show this season. I can't wait for the next two episodes. I'm going to give you guys my review on episode two as well. Can't wait to talk about it. But if you guys seen the premiere episode, what did you think? Comment your thoughts down below. Don't you think Madam is crazy as hell, man? For real. Comment your thoughts down below and let me know. Let me know what you think, man. She got crazier. I feel like she got even crazier in between season one and season two. And she doesn't take no shit, man. She doesn't let anybody talk to her with any disrespect or anything. You do not want to mess with Madam. She even yelled at Trouble for saying yo to her. She's like, man, you better approach me with some respect. And Trouble is kind of crushing on her and stuff. She's like, you just make me nervous. You're so beautiful. But if you've seen episode one, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll be bringing you guys the review for episode two very soon. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all all the Queen's Men content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.